Hi guys, it's me Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how I etch on glass. So we're going to use uh, Pyrex and I, you can use any type of glass. Um, I'm going to use Armor Etch and I get mine from Hobby Lobby and I use a 40% off coupon so it's around uh, $12. And then you're going to need a brush, a, a pair of gloves, and I'm using the Cricut uh, stencil uh, vinyl today and you're also going to need um, transfer tape. So with this, um, and then it's optional so whenever I cut it out I'm going to use uh, the Speedball uh, white to um, help so you can see the design a lot better. So this is the design that we're going to be cutting out today. It is uh, Raising My Tribe and I bought this on the Silhouette Design Space for 99 cents. So, um, and I'm going to do it uh, five inches tall and about five and a half inches wide. So let me go ahead and get this cut out and we'll get started. So what I did is I just, I didn't even have like the exact measurement of this um, stencil tape, um, transfer tape. I just have it to where I can uh, pick it up so it doesn't matter. So one of the letters I will have to go back and pick up because I did not, um, wasn't able to grab that and then I'm just going to make sure that it looks kind of center that looks good to me and then So that looks like it's good. Like I've got a few small bubbles here, but that's fine as long as everywhere around your edges is completely down. You don't want anything that way it can't seep under there. So just kind of go back and double check all of this. Okay. Okay, so for the armor etch, we are going to put on our gloves because if you read the bottle, it talks about it being fatal. <laughs> so uh, it's very dangerous to get on your skin apparently, so we don't want to do that. So definitely use your gloves, and I'm going to go ahead and take my rings off. That way I don't tear my glove. And get my glove on. Okay. And I recommend that you do this in a well ventilated area because this stuff does smell really strong. So the trick with this armor etch here is, um, and I just shook it up, the trick is you do not want to paint it on like a brush, like, like you're painting. You want to get like a good amount on here and you want to um, dab it on. So you just want to be very generous, be careful not to get outside of the stencil, and you just want to dab it on. If you um, swipe it, it could um, get underneath the vinyl, but also it will not be, um, you will get blotches. It's not going to come out um, perfect. So definitely recommend that you um, dab this on.
I'm just going to go back here and add a little bit just in case I've missed some spots and maybe just add a little bit more <coughs> here. And I'm trying to make sure I don't get up there. Okay. I think that's good. So we are going to, let me go ahead and add just a little here. Just to be safe in case that's a spot. <laughs> okay. So what I do is I'm going to actually, I'm actually going to throw this um, sponge away. Okay, so we're going to let this set for 15 minutes and then we will come back and rinse it off and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, it's been 15 minutes so we're ready to rinse this off. So I have my gloves back on because you don't want to touch it. And what I do is I have bounty paper towels that already have the Dawn dish soap built in them. That way you don't have to uh, worry about getting it on your wash rags. So I'm just going to lightly turn on the water so it's not splashing anywhere. And I first just try to carefully let it run off. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to take my, my, my gloves like that. I'm going to take the uh, paper towel and then start wiping on it. Then I'm going to go ahead and throw off the vinyl. Okay, so here's what it looks like after um, it's all been rinsed off. And um, so you can either leave it like this. Okay, and then you can see it. See how you can see and it, you can read it right through there. Okay, so you can either leave it like that or you can take and do the next step. So we're going to use uh, speedball paint. And I found this where the um, in the fabric area where you get your paints and stuff to paint t-shirts. And it is a speedball block printing ink, and it's the white. So I'm going to kind of mix this around just a little bit here. I'm going to just put a little bit on here. And it's got oil in it, so but it's not going to stay that color. And then I'm just going to take my paper towel and kind of wipe it over this. And make sure I cover all the letters and then as you come back and wipe it off you can see how now it's like a, a white And you can put like a second and third coat on there if you want to. But I think it looks good just like this. So now you can really see that it's really white and you can really read what it says. So, raising my tribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.